Hey folks, welcome back to fishing. We out here on the side of a ditch bank because I ran into my buddy Terry at the Walmart. Terry, I had to walk off from you. Probably still standing there talking, uh, complaining about how he wasn't catching no fish. About his strawberry flavored, deep fried, crispy chicken shrimp that he had been using for bait and whatnot and strawberry jello liver or whatever. And um, yeah, good luck with that Terry. Still, again, maybe if you quit talking long enough and watch one of my videos, you'd learn how to catch a fish. Rule number one, when the fish is hot, early in the day is when you wanna, when you wanna catch fish. Late in the afternoon is when you wanna catch a fish. Terry, you cannot sleep until 11 o'clock in the day and expect to go catch fish this time of the day. Ain't happening. All that flavored stuff you're using, that's, that's springtime, you know, right off of the spawn, they eating anything. That's why you just catch a fish in, Terry. You ain't gonna catch nothing on that right now, man. Uh, right now, fish are eating fish, Terry. They're eating fish. Let me, uh, let me school you on something. Number one, you go to Walmart or any local department store and get you a $10 cane pole. And you can take that and you can go catch you some brim. And you can use them brim for catfish bait. They will bite that, Terry. And they will bite that early in the morning and in the afternoon. Not at lunchtime, Terry. Stop going, stop going fishing at lunchtime in the middle of the summer. You're the only guy on the lake for a reason, Terry. That's for a reason. Everybody out there on the lake seems to be somewhat smarter than you are, my friend. But anyway. We're going to school you today, Terry, on how to catch a brim so you can then go catch you a catfish. I would like to thank a couple of my sponsors real quick. Holler Fish on Brand Tackle Shop. Check them out. They're on Facebook. They got all kind of clothes and apparel. Check it out. They make mussels. Hold on. Make you big and strong. Moisture wicking. You sweat on the inside and it kind of stays on the inside of you. Keeps it cool. Really nice. But check them out on Facebook, Holler Fish On. Just key it in. There's multiple states. If you want to know how to find some of the apparel, give me a call, message me, whatever. Um, and I'd like to thank the folks at Dow's Family Furniture and for Rag Agro Postal for financing my fishing habit. And um, let's go fishing. That's what we're fishing with today. It's a black widow, 10 foot long, a little retractable. We use them for brim fishing, but uh, they fold up to about, I guess, about two and a half foot long. You can put them behind your truck seat, stop at any roadside ditch, get you some brim, go catfishing. All right, Terry, I'm here with my co-pilot for today. This is Miss Allison. Miss Allison, what you got in your fist right there? A brim. A brim? What'd you catch that brim on? A mealworm. A mealworm. A mealworm, Terry. A mealworm. Not catfish fried, chicken liver, Kool-Aid, strawberry bait. No, Terry, a mealworm. Go get you some mealworms. And go get the kind, don't get the one that when you shake it, it jingle a ring, jingling, jingling. You don't want those, Terry. Those things are drier than a popcorn fart. Go get you some that are juicy. Get them from the Walmart, but you gotta go through them because all of them ain't good, Terry. Go get some mealworms. Go brim fishing, Terry. You wanna hold it like this, right here by the worm. And just ease it out. Just like it. Already got a bite. Hold on. Let me get in there. No, uh. -uh. I'm the little one's back. Yeah. Look. You'll catch anywhere from five to 20 in one little spot. And once you catch one, you keep jigging around that same area, just bouncing it around. You'll catch some more because they're not in there by themselves. They don't school around much like some fish do. Once they find a spot to call home, that's kind of where they sit at. All right. Now this was hot when we first got here. We was catching a few little old brim here and there. And uh, can't buy a bite right now. What's done happened is the sun's done come up over the top of those trees 
and the sun's over here so it's shining this way so the fish that are turned this way they're not gonna look straight at the sun these fish on this side over here are not gonna bite until this afternoon so what we're gonna do is move on the other side of the creek so when the fish turn off and they get to where they're not What is that? A snake? No, that was a turtle. That oh. was a, a, a big old, one of the big soft shell turtles. Where? Right here in front of me. A big one? Yeah, it was a big one. First I thought it was an alligator head. Uh, no, we're fixing to head back over there. But uh, you want to head over here, and if the fish are probably biting when it's hot outside and then it shuts off, Look at where you're fishing. You want to fish in the shadows. Not the shallows, Terry. Not the shallows, the shadows. Fish where the sun is on the other side of the trees. That way the fish can actually see what it is you're tossing at them. When they fish are turned this way, they can't stare at the sun no better than we can. We finna move into the shadows. We'll go catch some brim then. Oh, got it. Fish on. Fish on. What you got there? Brim. What'd you catch him on? Red worm. A red worm. A Kool-Aid red worm, right? No, not Kool-Aid. We, we don't use Kool-Aids on our worm. A liver dip worm or something like that? No. We just don't a regular old worm? Just a regular old red worm. I'll be dang. Look at there. Here we go. We're gonna put them to use, Terry. Let me get over here. All right, tell you what, let's swap out. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, we're gonna save the worm. Oh, got one. Ow. Yep, there's your worm. All right, now I'm gonna go hook this, look at there. Look at them purples and blues, that is pretty. All right. I'm gonna go show Terry how to hook this thing up. All right, Terry, now I seen what you fishing with. So I went and got my old Zebco 303 out for you. But that's how you hook him, right there in the fat meat part up there. That way he ain't under no distress and it ain't hurting him none. That little joker will swim around out there all day long. I got him going up to my homemade bobber. I got a video on how to make that thing there. But anyway, up them swim. We're gonna chunk him out there and let him swim around, and that's what we're gonna use. If you can see him, he's swimming on around out there. Just chugging, hugging around, minding his own business. And that's how we're gonna catch us a flathead, theoretically. All right, we ran out of mealworms. Uh, it may be. We had to swap over to the little red worms. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Fish on, whoop. Fish gone. Right in my mouth. We lost that one, let me get a worm on. Uh oh, fish on. Look at that. Man, this thing about to run off with your bobber over here. <laughs> yeah, we done caught about 30, 40 brim, so we're going to start chunking them back now. Save them for next time. Look at the colors on that thing. Man, that show is pretty. Look. There you go, little boy. Head on back on. Yep, old Brim's still swimming around out there. 
I seen him skipping and running a while ago. Something was after him and he moved over probably about 20 feet and then he kind of settled down. I guess he feels safe. Yeah, something got after him a while ago. You'll see him shoot off in one direction for a good ways. Something, something done spooked him or it was after him one. Yeah, old Brim's still out there, chug lugging around, looking for a fish. Mm, missed it. Yeah, during the heat of the summer, that's about the only way you're gonna catch any decent amount of fish is dudes in live bait, shad. Some folks use skipjack, we don't have that around here. We use brim and drum mostly. We'll use whole brim and if it's big enough, we'll cut it up and use it for cut bait and then we use drum. We have used uh, Asian carp for cut bait too, running trot lines. But during the heat of the summer, you got from about an hour before daylight till about maybe nine in the morning, that's about it. It's like somebody cuts a switch off. And then in the afternoons, you come up here about an hour and a half before dark. You can fish till about an hour after dark. And after that, they kind of settle down. Unless it's a full moon. Now, during the summertime, a lot of people won't fish during the full moon. Because they say all oh, the fish don't bite. Oh, they bite. They just bite all night long. And that way, by the time you get out there at 11 o'clock to go fishing, they slap full. Oh, ripping Leah. Got him. Hold him up for whence the world can see it. Look at there. The pan. Have fish. mercy. Thank you, ma'am. At least somebody out here is catching a fish. You still ain't caught nothing. Yeah, I done caught several of them. It's just been about 10 minutes. Uh, we was catching them so fast back and forth. Look at up. Uh, see there, that's what they're doing to me. I'm out here feeding the brims. Yeah, you don't have no worm on your hook. <laughs> yeah, I got a little little tad piece. I got I got a little piece of worm skin upon my hook. I'm gonna catch me a brim with some worm skin. I do it all the time. I take that one little worm, catch me about twelve brims. Look at there. On the worm skin. Big and too. Look at there. Come here, Bessie. Are you going to restring them with some heavy lines? Yeah. Uh, I was wondering. They kept snapping. Look at there. Old blue gill. Pretty colors. Get, get that sun yeah, on. That purple one? Yeah. That purple's pretty. All right. We got plenty. Let's get him on back. Yeah, chunk him on back. He's more fin than anything. Them old catfish ain't going to eat him. A lot of times when you catch them smaller ones like that, what a lot of people do is they'll cut the fins off of them and that way the catfish can actually inhale them easier and it makes the, the hookup ratio better when you're catching catfish. Yeah, it actually goes in further in the mouth with all them spines sticking out on the top of them. But a lot of people will take the scissors and actually cut the top of them fins off and uh, makes the hookup ratio better when you're catfishing. I was watching a TV show the other day on uh, Discovery Channel about these folks that believe in flat earth and whatnot. I do. I don't believe that the earth is flat, but I do believe in zombies. Because we got one of them 24-hour uh, Walmarts, and I've been down there after midnight shopping, and I've seen them shuffle footing around dragging their feet, dressed in house clothes and slippers and hair every old kind of way. Mouth hung open agape. Moaning and looking funny. So, for those flat earthers out there, I may not believe in that, but we may have some common ground on them zombies. And I think I may have seen an alien too out there. That. I'm fishing with a reel and a rod. It's kind of like what Terry's got. It is a, 
a group of different things. It's a Abu Garcia reel or Abu Garcia rod, a Zipco 303 reel with some homemade bobbers. I got a video on there somewhere on how to make it. But see, Terry, that's why you hook them right up here. If he don't do his job and he don't catch a catfish, look at him. He ain't hurting none. Chuck him on back. He'd be good in a day or two. Have a story to tell. The uh, humidity out here is quite repulsive. At 10 o'clock in the afternoon, already in the day, it is quite miserable out here. We stayed longer than what I had anticipated, but the bite was good. We caught about 100 brim. We kept about 30 of them. But we're going to pack it up and head on home. And uh, like I said, check out the shop. Holler Fish Home. Tackle Shop, Facebook, or message me. I can hook you up. It keeps the sun off of you. I ain't had a lick of problem with the sun, sunburn, none of that stuff since I started wearing them. And uh, fits good, air is good. Like I said, it keeps some moisture on the inside of the shirt so it keeps it close to your skin, you stay cool. Somehow the wind blows through it, but the water won't come through the other side, I don't know. The only thing I will say is it keeps you cool, keeps the sun off of you, but um, the sweat, as you do perspire out here in the million degree heat in the summertime in Mississippi, the water tends to drain down and you get a swampy cracking willy. But uh, other than that, I highly recommend them. This is James Downs. And when you get a chance, hey, y'all go fishing, Terry.